The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 8.30 a.m. Wednesday morning. One hour to go until the opening bell. And right now, we got a little bit of a mixed market. Quite the story overnight as you have the U.S. telling China to close their consulate in Houston. We'll jump right over to that headline. Why not? State Department orders China to close consulate in Houston. China vows retaliation. You have Senator Marco Rubio out there this morning saying basically that consulate, one big spy operation. Not too surprising, really, when you think about it, right? Uh, but nonetheless, tensions rising. And that's where you see a little bit of a sell-off in the market. You traded to a low of, in the S&Ps, 32.28. We're a solid almost 20 points above that price level, though. Now only negative four points. You were high overnight, up to 32.65, quite the sell-off. Right back to where we were, though, almost. You NASDAQ futures trading higher, 10,868. Zooming in, you see the sell-off overnight to a low of about 10,780. We're almost 100 points above that price level. The Dow off 55 points, 26,670. Dollar index pulling back. We got some strength in commodities yet again, especially that gold and silver contract. Gold up $13, 1857, had hit 1866. And how about silver? Above $23, 2313, as high as 2335. Notes and bonds, a little bit of higher price and lower yield. That's the trend, and it continues. We're sitting on a 10-year yield right now of under 6 tenths percent, 0.58. 9%. The 10 year up four ticks, 139.20. You got the 30 year up 15 ticks, 180.24. With that in mind, we'll jump over to weekly mortgage demand, right? These rates helping for whether it's refinances, obviously, but even new buyers in the mortgage to market, home buyer demand, and an already strong refinance market pushed mortgage application volume up 4.1% last week. Refinance application volume up 5%. And 122% higher than a year ago. That trend just continuing. The average contract interest rate for the 30 year, 3.2% from 3.19. Points, including origination, increased to 0.35 from 0.33. Strong numbers across the board. Interest rates, we're now dealing with a yield under six tenths percent. Okay. So the story in terms of the consulate, it's a big story, folks. Uh, tensions just continue to rise with the U.S. and China. We see the market dive lower. The market shakes it off, trades back higher. Uh, the directive to close China's consulate general in Houston was made to protect American intellectual property and private information of its citizens. So this administration really clamping down on that. We'll see how that plays out. In terms of the volatility in this market, right, yesterday, decent day in terms of we're looking at the Dow. We were up 2.1% as recent as July 24th. Negative days, we haven't had a day on the negative side, more than half a percent going all the way back uh, 13 days now until July 9th on that Dow. Second quarter earnings season, uh, we get some big numbers tonight, Microsoft and Tesla. Uh, if Tesla, Tesla were to deliver a profit, they would meet the requirement to then gain entry into the S&P 500. All the speculation is basically that's going to happen. I mean, Tesla, really interesting to see what happens. Uh, buy the rumor, sell the news, buy the lead up. It does it charge higher if if they deliver that profitability or is that the sign that of course it delivered that profitability and that's why we just shaded from about a thousand june 29th to almost 1800 you're talking about on july 13th for tesla yesterday we pulled back zooming in on the overnight action 1581 for tesla jumping over to microsoft shares microsoft with their numbers Quite a day yesterday and a lot of those tech stocks, 214.75 to 208. Microsoft actually positive right now from 208.75 to 210.21. Got to check in on Amazon shares. Amazon, now Bezos made $13 billion, biggest one day uh, wealth growth ever. And that was when 
Monday, you had Amazon closed Friday out at about 29.50. We ended Monday trading at 32.50, $250. He owns 55 million shares. You're talking about $13 billion. We're sitting at about 31.52. The sell off yesterday, 150 bucks from about 32.50 to 3100 on the dot on Amazon. We'll jump around some of the social stocks Facebook, 240, a little bit lower this morning. Twitter, Twitter out there with the story that they're uh, clamping down on some. Q, Quanon, however you pronounce that, a bunch of accounts on Twitter, a constant battle for those social media sites, trying to clamp down on the nonsense that continues. And let's jump to what else we got going on. All right, stocks making moves, what we have happening here. Yeah, well, let's jump to this Pfizer story, actually. So U.S. agrees to pay Pfizer and BioNTech $2 billion with a B for 100 million doses of coronavirus vaccine. They're going to pay $1.95 billion to Pfizer, produce and deliver 100 million doses of its vaccine candidate in the U.S. if it proves safe and effective in humans. Uh, German firm BioNTech and U.S.-based Pfizer are jointly developing. The vaccine would be made available to Americans at no cost, Health and Human Services said. Well, that's good. That's 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 a good one to hear. Uh, Pfizer shares talk about an acceleration from about 36.50. We're above 39.10, currently trading 38.45 on Pfizer shares on that news. United Air, they're out with their numbers last night. So they lose $1.6 billion in the second quarter. Expect further lower cash burn. United and its competitors, yeah, talk about cash problems, right? These airlines, United, there's the volatility, not too much. We closed at 3307, came up with the numbers. We're trading about 3290 this morning. American Airlines right now, 1141. Delta Airlines, 2631. Some of those cruise lines, Carnival a little bit lower, 1507. Uh, some of the stocks, uh, Disney, right? Look at this volatility on the open yesterday for Disney, right? We go from 118 to 120, and by the end of the day, we're at 118.62. We're a little bit lower this morning at 118.05. Jumping a ride hailing. Uber pulling back yesterday from 34.30 to 32.50. Lyft shares, 30.43. Jumping around to some of the cannabis stocks. Canopy growth, 17.18. Kronos, 6.74. How about Aurora? 1170 so far this morning. Okay, other stocks making moves. Biogen out with their numbers. The drug maker reported quarter earnings 1026 a share. The estimate was only 803. Revenue came in above estimates as well, helped by about 100 million in accelerated sales due to the COVID 19 pandemic. They slightly cut their 2020 full year revenue outlook. Biogen shares this morning. A little bit of volatility up to 293. We're back to under 285. We're right around 285, I should say, on their numbers. Conference call beginning at 8 a.m. Yes, 8 a.m. Eastern time for them. All right. Best Buy said its overall sales are up about 15 cents but since it began. 50, excuse me. We'll start again. Best Buy said its overall sales are up about 15 percent since it began reopening its stores in mid-June. Online sales have more than tripled during the current quarter through July 18th. Best Buy jumps higher on that news. We're up to about 94 from 90 for some context on where we've been on this stock. Almost reclaiming everything and actually above it now. 94.39 pre-COVID, we were only at about 92 down to 48. It's the run some of these stocks have had longer term basis. It's going to be an all time high for Best Buy this morning. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back after the break. See what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading. We had oil numbers at 1030 as well. We'll take a look at that. Be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We got the markets negative a bit from the last time I was on the air. Right now, NASDAQ futures actually dipping into the negative, negative six points, 10,843. Checking out the NASDAQ right now. See that little bit of a sell-off. Even at about 820 this morning, we were trading at 10,879. So we've sold off about 30 points from that price level, 10,850. Looking at S&Ps negative by six, the Dow negative 64. As I mentioned, we got crude numbers. 10.30 a.m. this morning. Now, it's interesting. Quite the pop for crude yesterday, 42.51. We're currently trading at 41.30, a little bit of a pullback. When you compare that to the gold contract, gold right up there near the highs that we had yesterday. We're back a bit, but 18.66 to 18.55. Silver, quite the story, right? Under 23 now, but right near the highs we had yesterday, actually made it to 23.35. Be interesting to see where crude goes as we get the numbers at 10.30. Putting it in some context, this line here correlating to March 6th, I believe. Yes, March 6th being Friday, March 9th being Monday that it opened dramatically lower. That's the weekend that the Saudis came out, slashed the price that they were selling oil dramatically, never seen before. Market cascades from $46 on that Friday to a price level of 27 on Monday. And from there, uh, panic kind of hit the market with everything down to negative prices in six. So yesterday's action, the reason I mentioned it is because we're up to 42.51. This low here, 41.05, we're back almost right at that low. We have inventory numbers in less than two hours. We'll keep our eye on that and see where that trades. Uh, Tom and I will be on the air for those numbers. All right, jumping back to what else we have going on in the market. You got Snapchat earnings last night. And let me zoom it in. We're a bit lower. So here's your context on where we were COVID from pre nine, like 19, maybe even $20 within a hair. 789. We're now at 2474. You're going to see some negative action here on their earnings. 2130. We spiked to. We're back to 2306. You're talking about only a buck 60 from where we were yesterday. And Snap net loss balloons from a year ago. Revenue up 17%. Snap stock price, yeah, it fell big as we saw. Net loss grew to 326 million, up from 255 million last year. Daily active users, 238 million, up nearly 4% from the 229 million the company reported in April for their last quarter. So 238 up from 229, not bad. 
not that great, really. Uh, what was the expectation, I wonder? Uh, 238.48 was the expectation. So pretty much pegged it. They beat by revenue. They lost right in line. Average revenue per user, they beat. Pretty interesting, right? If you look at just these metrics, uh, you'd think that they beat. Revenue was a beat. Loss, right in line. Daily, global active users, off by 480,000. Um, but nonetheless, they trade lower. Snap reported its daily active users up. We went over that. I'm not even sure why uh, they paid such a penalty, but maybe just that type of growth. You know, 4% growth at a time when you're just burning cash. You're burning cash $255 million last uh Year now you're burning 355 million and you only grew your base by about four percent. Snapchat lower on their numbers. All right, we got a lot more companies with earnings. We'll jump through them pretty quickly. Texas Instruments they beat by 60 cents a share. Quarterly earnings a buck 48. The revenue also above forecast. Uh, better than expected revenue for the quarter. Demand for its wide array of chips rebounds from the effects of the pandemic. Texas Instruments TXN. I mean, just crazy action on some of these stocks. We've spiked to 144, uh, and you know that's last night, 4 o'clock. By the span of 4.30, the conference call began. We were already at 139 from 144, and within the span, these are five-minute bars. By 4.40, we were actually back to where we were, and that's where we're sitting, 137 for Texas Instruments. All right, the NASDAQ got with their numbers a buck 54, beating the dollar 45 share. Let's see just where they're trading. NDAQ is their symbol. Yeah, pretty close. 131, we're up a bit to about the bid ask 132 by 135. iRobot reported quarterly earnings a dollar 06 a share, significantly higher than 29 cents a share. Revenue also above estimates. Consumers staying at home due to the pandemic helped fuel stronger sales of the company's Roomba automatic vacuum cleaner. The company also raised its revenue forecast. Winners and losers, folks, in this market in a big way. I, RBT. Uh, oh, boy, look at this, right? 92 down to 79. You got to have some quick fingers if you're trading some of these stocks, folks. 92 to 79. We're trading right now at about 82, a bit lower on their numbers. Uh, consumer, yeah, I would. Uh, something's going on there. I wonder what else is in that story, but something. Intuitive Surgical, more than double the forecast with quarterly earnings of $1.11 a share. The maker of surgical products also seeing much better than expected revenue, profit, however, sharply lower compared to a year earlier as surgical procedures slowed during the pandemic. Uh, so they're seeing much better than expe expected revenue, but profit was lower because procedures slowed? I don't know. I mean, how are you, how are you pulling in more revenue and less uh, profit? Maybe it's less margin areas. ISRG up to 700 on the dot. And just like that, with everything else, we're back to about 660. Some of these stocks, if you, uh, you know, try the, 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 the acceleration they got, and now we're actually under, you know, 660. You're seeing a print exactly 660, and we're trading at 658 for them. All right, Capital One. So this week, I mean, it's just jumping through some of the big players. A lot more earnings even out there than this. 25% of the S&P reporting their numbers this week alone. Capital One, bank reported quarterly earnings $1.61 a share. Market was looking for $1.68. Revenue was well below, was below Wall Street estimates. Capital One boosted its provision for credit losses to $4.25 billion from $1.34 billion in the year earlier period. Uh, it makes sense, folks. You know, you did credit card debt hopefully that's that's the one area you don't want to put yourself in folks because it's such a high percentage but you know people have bills and this is an exceptional time and capital one saying you know at least four billion dollars i'm not sure what their exposure is but you see it go from 6287 down to 5950 the conference call began trading at 60 20 about 60 by 60 20 this morning all right and macy's and Coles, both of them downgraded to a sell from neutral uh, saying brands can no longer depend on malls or department stores to drive customer traffic. Man, it's going to be a long time until we are super comfortable just going to a mall with just thousands of people. Uh, Macy's from 680 to 650. Kohl's at KSS, is that them, I believe? Kohl's. Yeah, you see the drop off from 2240 to 2140. You know, I was in Kohl's last December and I remember thinking, you know, they were just phenomenal deals. The place was packed to the hilt. They had lines going around the door. They, um, excuse me, around, you know, the entire store. They, they actually had attendance where you, the line had to jump over the pathway that people walked in because it was so long. 
but the margins you're dealing with in a retailer that's in the discount retailer world when you're competing with Target and Amazon and Walmart, um, JC Penney, uh, you know, Nordstrom Rack, I love. That's the discount side. There's just such a competitive space, very low margins. Kohl's really been struggling. They get a downgrade. I mean, look at this stock, right? It's all downward. And you got quite a little rebound here. You really did up to 30 when the market was getting its early June run, up to 29.34. Uh, but just be careful and these stocks because no matter how good it is you better be able to deliver online folks because the world is going online in a big way and it's happening faster than we all realize i mean look at these stocks amazon walmart right right up there near all-time highs we're going to open this morning on walmart basically flat 132.30 134.13 all-time highs our man bezos amazon 31.38 it's got a 3800 price target i see no reason why that's not happening folks all right Stay tuned. We'll be right back in three minutes. We'll, what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading? Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Folks. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is negative by just four points right now. NASDAQ positive by seven. The Dow negative by 44. Going to be a real interesting open in the market. Stay tuned. We got our man Larry Pezzavento coming up live next. Uh, always an interesting program, folks. Bring it on guests. Check it out. He'll be live, as we know. And what else we have coming up? Stay tuned. Tomorrow, our man Basil Chapman. He is going to be live with his subscribers for a 90-minute webinar. 
the title of this. So Basil has put this together. He wants to do it right now. He's talking about the market, folks. After a successful first half, to the, half of the year, will the same chart formations unfold for the second half of 2020, or do we have to find other patterns to follow? Great time to give Basil uh, a shot. Give him a subscription. Sign up. Check it out. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And uh, I'll be in there tomorrow night as well watching that webinar. I look forward to Basil. Always does a great job. 90 minutes that will be archived. What he'll be talking about, how we have used time-price relationships, the cup and V-shaped pattern worked on the way up. Will we have to look at the inverse patterns soon? Will the high-tech sector take a breather, allowing other sectors to rally? What a question, right? The golden question, I'm sure. What clues would suggest an infrastructure play is possible in attempting a longer-term outlook? So that's going to be tomorrow night. 90 minutes, check it out on the front page of TFNN.com. And also my newsletter, Rocket Equities and Options Report. Uh, I'll have an update out later this morning for subscribers. A full report out Monday. Updates pretty much every day for the first couple, uh, at least a month, few weeks, a uh, couple months as we build a real long-term portfolio, focus on some value equities. Good time to buy them now as we cycle through that. And then maybe some option plays, maybe even, you know, in the next... Uh, this week, next week, looking at some option plays, some swing trades, at least for the short term. Uh, both of those, check it out on the front page. And right now, you can become, become a charter member. Hit subscribe. You'll see the monthly, $97. You can just enter promo code ROCKET, R-O-C-K-E-T. Hit add that code. It'll be cut in half. You pay $48.50. You lock in the rate. And you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So lock it in, folks. Get the newsletter for 30 days. I'm talking about strategy. I'm talking about different long-term plays, what I'm looking at in the market. And uh, you don't like it? Cancel it. Get a money-back guarantee. Stay tuned, folks. Going to be an interesting day in the markets. S&P negative four. Larry Pesamento coming up live next.